All right, in this video, we want to talk about types. And as the name suggests, TypeScript is all about types in JavaScript. And we want to see how we can add types to our variables in TypeScript documents. So we already set up the project in the previous video, and now we are just ready to learn. So right now we have this X variable that is set to hello. And I'm going to delete this log just to keep things very simple. So if we hover over this X, VS Code is telling us that this X is set to string. This is called implicit type assignment in TypeScript. So we are not saying this X is a string or a number or something, but the compiler recognized that this is a string based on the value. Let's say I will have a Y variable and I want to set it to 34, for example, a number and a Z variable that I will set it to true or false, a Boolean. And again, if you hover over them, you can see y is set to number and z is set to boolean. So the types of these variables are inferred. Now I'm using let to reassign something to these values. If we go to our app.js, we have these values here too. And in the JS document, if I say, for example, y equals to a string high, I don't see any complaints. I can even say, for example, z is equal to, for example, null or undefined. I don't see any complaints or any errors in my app.js and if there is an error i will see it in the runtime basically it will crash my application if there is an error and that is where typescript comes in going back to our typescript document if i try to do the same thing that i did in the js document and set this y variable to something rather than a number because that is the initial value right so if i say for example the string high you notice TypeScript is complaining about this assignment and it says the string is not assignable to type number. That makes sense because the type of this variable is number and it should not hold anything other than that. And of course, same thing goes for the other variables. If I say Z is, for example, 44, again, it will complain that says number is not assignable to the type Boolean. So TypeScript helps us to find and avoid errors when we are developing our app, but when it's compiled, it is back to JavaScript. So this is implicit type assignment where we don't explicitly say what is the type of this variable. So for example, if I delete everything and just keep that X variable, so I can initialize a variable using let, right? But now if we hover over X, its type is inferred to any, and we will talk about this any, but that basically means it doesn't know what it is. And to avoid that, we can use explicit typing. Now in TypeScript, in order to assign a type to a variable, we can use colon after the name of the variable and then the type, for example, a string. Even though this X doesn't have a value, but TypeScript knows this is a string. That means if I try to assign a number to this, again, I will have an error. And I'm going to zoom in here even more just to make it easier to see. So that is explicit type assignment. And we can, of course, have values here, which now needs to be a string. So again, I can't say 34. It has to be a string. Otherwise, we will get an error. Same thing goes for other types. So for example, I can say variable y is type number. So I can't set this to a string or a Boolean. It has to be a number. And it could be a decimal number since we don't have floats in JavaScript. And of course, the Boolean type. And we can set this to false or true. So these are the very simple primitive data types that are very common and we use them all the time. But you also saw that any type, if I try to initialize a value without any type, TypeScript will automatically infer this to a type called any. And this is a special type in TypeScript that is basically saying it could be anything. So I can even be explicit about that any type and set this variable w type to any and the value of that to a number, just as an example. Now down here, I can say w is now a string. You can see there is no complaint because the type is any. That means it could be a number, it could be a Boolean, it could be anything we want to assign to. So with this special type, we can have any value for a variable that is set to type any. We also have two other uncommon types, and that is null and undefined. So if I have a variable a and I will set this to type null, that means this value can take nothing but null. So if I set it to a number, it would be an error, a string, or even undefined, 
that will give me an error because undefined is not null. So the only value that can take is null. And similar to this one, we have undefined. So if you have another variable and we set the type to undefined, it can take nothing but undefined. Even if I want to set it to null, again, it would not work because we cannot change the type. So these two types are uncommon, but they might be handy in different situations. So that's how we can define a type for a variable in TypeScript. We just add a colon after the name of a variable and then the type. And if we don't do this explicitly, TypeScript will infer the type based on the value. And that's about this video. In the next one, we will talk about arrays.